influenced by Lovecraft. Um, John Dies at the End by David Wong. Nightmare's Disciple by Joseph S. Pulver. So all these um, books, um, all these authors were highly influenced. Um, and of course, his lasting impact on cinema. Uh, with The Thing and Prometheus, Ryan, um, the first things about Lovecraft, there's two sad ironies uh, surrounding him. Now widely read and popular, Lovecraft stories were never published in book form during his lifetime. They appeared instead as pages of pulp magazines, such as Stounding and Weird Tales, of course. Um, it was only in the decades after his death that his stature as a writer of the macabre began to match that of his um, forebear, Edgar Allan Poe. Um, we talked about this earlier. Guillermo de Toro plans to direct a big budget rendering Lovecraft's uh, novella at the Mountains of Madness. But they were put on hold, and uh, of course, he did Pacific Rim. So hopefully, he'll get back to that. Um, the influence of, uh, uh, like, Reanimator, the camp horror, remains the finest, if not exactly faithful to him. Um, you can just tell the um, the thing. There was uh, his influence in that. Um, it was Carpenter's rendition that hewed it to the original story. Um, but Lovecraft was in, definitely in that. Um, and John Carpenter is an outspoken. He's very, uh, he loves Lovecraft writing. The thing may have contained hints at the uh, the author's ideas, but the underappreciated In the Mouth of Madness was a Lovecraft tribute writ large. Absolutely, and I absolutely love that movie. Uh, I don't think they could, uh, that was so good. So good. Um, in which a horror novelist experienced a looping supernatural nightmare that ultimately drives them insane. And the character as even named Mrs. Pickman, taken exactly from Lovecraft's story, Pickman's model. So there you go. Carpenter once correctly asserted the following. A master craftsman, Lovecraft brings compelling visions of nightmarish fear, invisible worlds, and the demons of the unconscious. If one author truly represents the very best in American literary horror, it is H.P. Lovecraft, unquote. Um, the sci-fi classic Alien bears all the hallmarks of the um, cosmic horror. Screenwriter Dan O'Banion was undoubtedly under Lovecraft's influence. Um, so you have that. So he's just everywhere. Um, Del Toro pointed out the many similarities between At the Mountains of Madness and Alien, um, in which the protagonist encountered the alien temple. So uh, it's he is he is just uh, him and Poe and uh, probably a lot of other authors, but basically Lovecraft and Poe. You can see their influence everywhere. Um, so Alien, of course, you can see him in that. Um, I, I'm trying to think of a couple other ones. My mind is uh, full of stuff right now, so. Um, the themes and ideas in his work, they have permeated popular culture um, in the same way that fear and madness crept into, into the characters in Lovecraft stories. It's, they haven't become the, the subject of blockbuster movies as Stephen King's, but they're uh, little Trojan horses you look for. Yeah, <laughs> autocorrect again. Bye, Michelle. Have a good night, hon. Um, almost to the end of his life, when his opinions softened somewhat, Lovecraft was a deeply conservative man with oddly backward social and political views. But this writer, with his backward notions, created a body of work that is strikingly mo modern 
in its ideas. Yes, he was. So, and Prometheus, of course. And like you said, I think you brought, you told me about Evil Dead, yes. Um, Pirates. Pirates. Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Um... I'm trying to think what else. Uh, lots and lots more. Um, we brought up, uh, of course, Lord of the Rings. So he's just everywhere. I think more so than Poe. Um, Davy Jones in the Pirates was a, uh, excuse me, he appears in the second and third films, Dead Men's Chess and At World's End. Um, he is a captain of the Flying Dutchman, of course, of the ghost ship of the same name. So, so apparently Lovecraft was, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, was influenced by Tuesday Party. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be playing some music here soon. So, um, let's see. I want to see if there's a... Uh, okay. Let's see if there's anything coming up. Um, but he, like, uh, Chris mentioned a lot of the, um, we mentioned a lot of, uh, things that, uh, Lovecraft has influenced. Um, the thing, aliens, um, of course, Absentia was dealt with that. Um, kind of, uh, Davy Jones and Pirates, um, I think it was supposed to be a Tushlu, um, type thing, okay? He bears uh, some similarities at Chuchalu. Um, so, they're saying that it could be. I don't know. That's based on uh, to, uh, <sighs> that uh, Tuchelu and Davy Jones is based from Lovecraft. So, big influence. So, there you go. The Flying Dutchman, yes. Um, I don't think there's a hidden meaning, as some people are saying. But, uh, Lovecraft definitely had his influence. Uh, I've, and I've, Chris mentioned quite a few. Um, okay. I
Back. It's yeah. Okay. Old school phone wave. <laughs> sorry, guys. I don't know what that was about. I don't think I hit anything. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But anyway, we're talking about um, just so many things. Lovecraft is influenced. It's it's pretty much everywhere. Prometheus, like we we mentioned. Um, of course, mentioned quite a few. Um, night, Michelle. Sorry, I missed you there. And Yogg saw it the lips. Yes, he does. Um, he really wasn't that much of a poet, but his stories and his imagination really, um, Cleveland rocks. No, I grew up there. It does not. Um, Um, so I think we covered pretty much anything else you want to say Chris old school phone waves you guys hush over there Um, these two were if you haven't read anything by either of them I don't know where you've been living but uh, please do or um I mean, you really can't get the meat of them unless you read them, okay? Then you can, you'll spot a lot of influence in the movies. Um, yeah, Dagon was bizarre. Uh, Absentia, uh, not a fan, but that's okay. Don't watch horror, definite fan. Mouth of Madness, all of those. Um, and Chris named a few, The Mist. Um, what else did you mention, Chris? Evil Dead, The Mist. Let It Bleed episode in Supernatural. Okay, in case you guys can look it up, it's the episode Let It Bleed in Supernatural. Uh, The entire season seven could not have happened without H.P. Lovecraft stories. So, that was very cool. Revival, yes, The Mist. Absolutely. So... They were both masters. Yeah, they started, basically started it all. Absolutely. Um, and I think I've just about, you know, covered them pretty well, their history. But you had to, I had to go into some of that dryness because of where they started writing. And it wasn't just, um, you know, some of it wasn't published or whatever, but that's when they started. And so we had to go into their background. Cleveland still rocks. Yeah, no. Um, (laughs) no, Cleveland's all right, I guess, I guess, um, but anyhow, uh, you, you can't say enough about these two, you really can't, and like I said, if you haven't read any works from either of them, please start, I think you'll be, uh, pleasantly surprised, so, um, I think that about does it. Um, what's tomorrow? What goes on tomorrow? Oh, Wednesday. We have uh, uh, Laurie Stephen King Universe on tomorrow night, don't we? Yeah, without Poe, is there Lovecraft? No, I don't think so. Um, I think Lovecraft might have written, but I don't think it would have been as... Um, I don't think he would have been in the category he is now. You know, legend, <laughs> master, uh, both of them. What do you think, Chris? Without Poe, is there Lovecraft? Um, there would have been a Lovecraft, but not as he is today, I don't think. I think he'd have been out there, but very obscure. So that's my opinion on that. I think he would have been an obscure writer. We would not have known um, about him, really. Not like there is now. So what do you think? Is Without Poe, is there Lovecraft, Chris? I don't think so, no. I don't think so. And without Lovecraft, would there have been Alien? Would there have been some of these movies? So, you know, it's a a cause and effect there, I think. You know, without Lovecraft, would we have gotten?